doctors, some doctors I should say, are turning to DIY IUD removal, yes, Dr. Landry. Sounds a little bit... Different. Different and uh, stringy. Different yes. and stringy. So basically, this is your uterus and this is the bottom part of your uterus called your cervix. So we simply put the IUD device in and when we pull back, the IUD stays in your uterus and then the strings come through your cervix. So this is the string. A typical vagina is about three or four inches long and typically we will cut the strings to be about about an inch. Well, some doctors are leaving the string a lot longer so that people can just reach up there, grab the string, and pull the IUD out themselves. And I, I will say there's some controversy surrounding this. Mm -hmm. Really quickly, what, what's your take on it? So Pros, cons? Yes, so I would say go back to your provider. Um, yeah, so honestly, I love IUDs. I think that patients just need to be informed about the potential complications. Of course, it doesn't take four years of medical school to learn to pull a string straight down and the IUD comes out. You know, in a lot of instances, this will go just fine, but there are some potential complications. Just for example, one of my colleagues had someone who decided to remove her own IUD at home and she didn't know how the IUD was supposed to look. So she didn't know it was supposed to kind of look like a T. Um, so she pulled it out, but part of it broke. So it came out more like an L and she didn't know. Okay, so part of it stayed inside and she got an infection. Um, now, had she gone to the doctor, then they would have known that the whole IUD did not come out. That being said, that is that will not commonly happen. Your IUD usually does not break when it's being taken out. So it's it's just one of those things we need to make people aware of. It. I want to bring yeah. into the conversation via Skype Dr. Mora Rashid, family doctor and reproductive health specialist, who supports patients being able to remove these IUDs themselves. Uh, doc, thanks so much for joining us. You obviously heard some of Dr. Landry's concerns. Talk to us about your approach and why you are in favor of leaving a little bit longer string so that women can just remove it themselves. IUD removal for the vast majority of patients is very safe and there are a lot of reasons why women might want this option from money and access to care, control as I mentioned, um, you don't need an invasive exam and it's especially important for women who have a history of trauma. Um, I do think there are rare instances, as Dr. Landry mentioned, where this, the, you know, the self-removal might not go perfectly, but those cases are going to be very rare. But when you're trained in this, th there is an ideal length to cut exactly. this. Exactly. If it's too short, it's going to be hard to, to remove out. it. The, the, the patient may have to end up going through a procedure, potentially a DNC, whatever, and then if it's too long, you may feel it, it may inadvertently get pulled out. Exactly, and that was my, my next question to you. So, like you said, um, if it's too short, so if it's right at the cervix, then sometimes we have to put a little camera into your uterus to see it and pull it out. Um, if we're not able to get it out in the, in the office, and there are things that we can do in the office to get it out, even if we can't see the string, like an IUD hook, things like that. So my, but yeah. my question to you is, so typically, like you were saying, Dr. Orden, we, we cut it about here, so assume that this is in the vagina, okay? Well, you're saying leave it longer, so maybe it's about this long. And so I would think that would increase the probability of it maybe being tangled in a tampon or things like that. So maybe it's pulled down a little bit accidentally. Now, my concern with that is it won't hurt the patient. However, if you pull this down, you, won't, you don't feel the IUD in your uterus. But say you pull it down a little bit, but you don't know. And it's easier to pull it down because the string is longer, right? Well, you're not adequately protected against pregnancy. How, how do you determine how much string to leave for a self-removal patient? Currently, um, if a patient does not is not interested in self-removal, we cut the strings to about four centimeters, and that's four centimeters from the outside of the cervix. Mm -hmm. um, if a person is interested in removing the IUD on their own, we're gonna leave a little bit more, so about a centimeter more, which actually isn't that much. We know that Accidental removal is always a concern with IUDs. Um, and as far as partners feeling it, it's really usually not an issue, even if the strings are a little bit longer. I want to thank you for offering your yeah, perspective. Thank you.